All right, now we got to figure it out. Hi, everybody. My name is Ryan Braver. Um, I'm a tennis coach here at Boonville. I've been the assistant coach for four years. And um, this next year, I get to be the head coach. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going for just a few things you can do to, um, with the racket, with the ball, maybe with the wall that you might have at your house. Um, I'm going to go over some things you can do with just a racket. I'm going to go over some things you can do with just the ball. And hopefully I can need to come up with some drills that you can do with nothing at all. Okay? So just to start, some of the warm-ups we do for our high schoolers are the racket. Controlling the ball here. Controlling the ball, and this is like using a forehand. Do this long enough. This is a very good arm workout. So another one we do is we do the backhand. You get good at both of those. You can switch in them. Okay. How are our high schoolers warm up every day? Pretend like this is the high schooler on the other side. Start with a forehand. Get our feet set up to the side. Do that. Just switch to the back end. Okay. At this point, we'll back up. And then we'll do the same thing, just short, a little short of a stroke. Try to keep it on your forehand side. And then we do the same thing on the back. here is you want to make sure your feet are correct okay so and that there's a lot of a lot of food. so when you're practicing on a wall when you're practicing at home when you're practicing with someone across the net if you always want to have your feet moving you can turn bring your feet back to the middle and then turn and then bring your feet back to the middle and turn um, that's something you can do without a ball without a racket Instead of working on your footwork, you always want to bring back to base, back to here, and on the, the, your, the balls of your feet, ready to move from right to right to left. If you don't know where that person is going to hit it back, and that is another good workout to use. Um, if you have only a ball, and depending on which hand you use to, to hit with, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put the ball in my left hand. Um, uh, your uh, toss for your serve. So you can come up here, want your toss. Your toss is the, one of the hardest parts of the serve most of the time. You want your toss to be the same place every time. So if I, you don't have to have a racket. You don't have to have a racket. When I go to serve, I want my racket's going to be there. I want the ball to be just where that where that is. If I pretend too far out, I want to keep that ball a little closer. That's behind me. There it is. See it right there. Another way you can you can practice this is if you have let's make sure my ball is the same. you can do if this is again if you have a racket and a ball you don't have to have a partner for this you just have to have a wall 
um, or something that you can use where you can kind of stretch out and extend. Okay, I'm not going to swing. I just want to track the ball with my racket all the way extended. Like this. So I'm going to go like this. Got to get closer to the pin. Go a little higher. That's better. So you want to keep that toss the same every time. You want that toss to be right next to the fence and then down. And that will make your serve way more consistent. It will make your serve way better. And so you need to just try to make it the same every time. Um, Sports. Um, if you don't have tennis sports, this is something you can do at home as well. Um, I'm going to practice uh, moving my feet. I'm going to practice uh, four different strokes. Okay, and at each corner, I'm just, I'm not going to use a racket. I'm not going to use a ball. So you can do this anywhere. You can even do this on, on uh, the back of the, you have a basketball court at your house. You can do this or anywhere you can just set up a square area to move. So at first, I drop my feet here. always moving all around the court and you're always ready to go so you can also do this with a racket it would be the same thing it's going to feel it's going to get a better feel for it if you have a racket you can use any kind of racket it doesn't have to be a tennis racket if you have badminton pickleball whatever you have just if you have something you can put in your hand that helps you visualize where you're going to go so again See if I can remember all that. Come up here. Punch. Punch. Back up. Oops. All the way through. All the way through. That's it. Some other things that we can do. We did. Keep the ball in the air. Some other things we can do is on the ground. Okay, I know this doesn't seem like much. What you're doing is getting you some sweet spot of my racket. It's all right here. Okay. That gets me used to where my where the racket is with my hand. Okay. It's just like going out and dribbling a basketball. The more you do it, the easier it gets. The less you have to watch, okay? And again, it's harder to do backhand, but it can still be done. Um, so if you do have a, a, a court somewhere that you can go to, if you do have balls that you can use, okay? Then this is one of those courts that you can social distance pretty easily, okay? So if I'm just practicing, I got three balls here. I'm going to practice a serve. Okay. Um, 
you want to, again, you want everything to be the same all the time. Okay, arm circle. I'm gonna take this front foot, and point it at that point. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I want my palm to be the same. If I don't swing at the ball, it doesn't count. So you can always pick it up. You can always stop. Okay, you want your. I want my toss to be the same. That's why we're practicing over on the wall. Get that toss the same. So my toss here. Toss here. That's a little better. Okay. So now what you want to do is you want to come back, hop back, and then you want to be extended. Do you want your arm all the way up? Do you want your, I mean, I've seen a lot of guys that will come up and they'll even go up on their tippy toes, some guys will even come off the ground because you want to meet that ball as high as you can. Okay? Um, so, I'm going to swing and I'm going to hit them up. Thanks for getting that one. So, you're trying to meet the ball as high as you can. High as you can, right up here. So you want your arm to be extended. Now, I will tell you, if you come out and you have a lot of balls and you're gonna serve a lot, I wanna take it easy. Don't swing as hard as you can all the time, okay? Consistency on your serve is probably better than anything else. If you can get good, if you can get, good to get, if you can get it to where it's going in all the time, then you can start to add power. Can't, if you're if you're coming out here and just swing it as hard as you can, more than likely you're probably just going to hurt yourself. I'll tell you, my shoulder hurts, and I only hit three bolts. So, pause for a second. So, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to uh, I'm going to go over attacking the net. I like to be aggressive when I play. Um, if I go back here and I hit a serve, I'm going to try to come up and attack the net and get. But again. This all requires you to move your feet quickly, have your feet chopping, okay? You want to, um, so this not only requires a ball, a racket, but I also have an assistant, my camera person. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a ball and then I'm gonna come up. So I pretend here to show, just to show her what we're doing. I come up here, hit a ball, and I'm going to come up here again with my feet chopping, and I'm going to try. Now, you're going to want to try to place the ball. You want to get to where you can put the ball where you want on the court. Okay. Um, it's completely up to you. Corner to corner is always best. If I can go from hit the ball to one corner and then hit the ball to the other corner, that means the other person has to run a lot. I'll tell you, we haven't been doing this very long, and I'm already winded. So work on that now. Okay. So again, work on your footwork, stop your feet. You can do this. You can do this anywhere. You can do this without a ball, without a racket. I don't need either of these. I can pretend there's a racket in my hand. So if I'm here, turn, swing. Turn, swing. Okay? You want to go from the all your power usually comes it comes from the ground up. So if your feet aren't right, if your feet aren't set, then you then you lose power. So here, swing. And you the only way to get your feet there is to have quick feet. Tennis is a lot of moving. Tennis is great for all other sports you can play because it helps with your foot speed. So if I can chop my feet, turn, chop my feet, turn, okay? And I'm always working on getting my feet where they need to be. If I can get my feet where they need to be, the rest of it should fall into place. Thanks, guys. Leave me.